So I decided to four by it, and I hope I haven't taken off more, bit off more than I can chew, because it's pretty radical for this Corolla wagon. A lot of ruts, especially with a trailer on the back of it, and it's a good thing I've got new tires. And I don't know how I'm going to get turned around. Hopefully there'll be something up here. I might have to just, I don't know, I'm going to stay overnight anyway. For just the enjoyment of being up here. So I could possibly turn around in something like that. We'll see. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Hey y'all, okay, I made it. We made it to a place where we can turn around, thank God. Right over here. So I got turned around and all I've got to do is head out now. Right over there. But I shouldn't have even gone up that road because, um, well, I mean, I was low on gas. I'm low on gas and I'm hoping that I can make it to Durango. But um, in any case, we're going to stay here for the night and it's really beautiful. And I think it's going to be worth it. And we'll get back down the hill. What do you think about all this chakra? <laughs> she looks at me like, come on, man. I don't want to be on camera right now. Hey, y'all. So I'm going to take you for a little walk in the mountains of Colorado, the southern Colorado mountains where I have just pulled my car about a mile off the road onto federal forest land. And I uh, hope it's not hunting season yet, but it might be. As I know, there are no cars and no people. The car V did pretty good. Once in a while when I hit a rut though, the, uh, the hitch bottoms out, which worries me. It even does that like on some places when I pull into a driveway, you know. I don't know that there's anything that I can do about it. Oh well. You gotta check this camp spot out here. Check this one out. There's a road going up there and then you drive your vehicle right over here. free no charge you just got to drive about a mile and a half up the road you 
here's your fireplace conveniently prepared by someone prior it's nice huh and here's your view Look how square all the stones are. Let's see if I can find them. They're, several, they're all over the place, square stones. Like you could build a house with them. See how flat? So it's strange that I'm getting back to um, just wanting to touch things, just to feel things, natural things. I was just thinking to myself that this is pretty much the same world up here that humans experienced for as long as they've existed in its pure and natural form. And humans that lived in this type of a natural surrounding ate meat. Zero doubt about it. They had to kill the animals that they saw and eat them. Okay, y'all. So I enjoyed the campsite, but it's time to go and I needed to do some digging so that I could get the trailer through this trench area. It doesn't look very low, but it really is for this car because the hitch sits so low. <laughs> and I just scraped a little bit, scraped up some mud a little bit, no problem. I did a pretty good job leveling that out. Okay, that's the end of that video and I'm down the road.